<sighs> I didn't look as cute today. Oh, like I'm actually looking at myself, and I'm like, no, today's not your day, and I don't know. What am I supposed to do? What can I do? Yo, 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 yo. What? What? You're gonna. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Toby O'Case. If you are not new, welcome back. It's still the same person, it's me. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my top five winter skincare favorites. Honestly, I decided to shoot this video just because, as you can see, it's getting cold outside and yeah. Some people's skin changes depending on the weather. Sometimes your skin gets dry and sometimes you get better skin. It all depends on the person. But for me, personally, my skin thrives in the winter. I don't really have to do much, but I will be showing you some things that I do use occasionally just to, you know, zhuzh up my skin and make my skin look nice and, you know, give it a natural glow or just use on a daily basis. To be honest, I don't know what I'm saying, so I'm gonna <laughs> skip to the next clip. <laughs> so, the first item is this. <laughs> Everyone needs a good old skincare, so I decided to go for the Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser by uh, Cos, Cos RX, Cosrix. You know what, right? It works, that's <laughs> As purifying botanical ingredients and it works it says that it works to soothe refresh and soften the skin without the stripping feeling and i can tell you it actually does that i use it every morning i was gonna say this is something that i don't use at night but it literally says morning gel cleanser dummy <laughs> yeah it's just a great morning wash i got it from yes style i'll link everything below anyways this gel cleanser was 9.89 um, I think I got it for cheaper just because yes, I were doing a sale, but do not quote me on that. I will check. I can't really say much about this cleanser other than it works, it's good. And it's the only thing I'm comfortable with using on my face, like face wash wise, just because it's nice and I like it. There's not really much to say about face cleansers, especially if they tell you that they don't strip and then it actually just doesn't strip your skin of all it's you know stuff <laughs> i love it and if you can pick it up i'd say that you should purchase this but everyone's skin is different so i would do your research on it and on the ingredients just so you can get an accurate perception of the face wash because it might not be the one for you depending on the ingredients inside of it the second product that i would say please <laughs> get this is the O'Keefe's Lip Repair Unscented Lip Balm <sighs> especially for winter get it I was a bit skeptical at first I was like Ugh. they all say yeah okay strengthens whatever helps dry lips blah 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 and then they never work but this one you can literally use this once your lips will stay hydrated for the whole day that's all I can say about it. <laughs> like, it's my favorite thing. It's literally empty and I need to buy another one, but I have not been to the shops. Yeah, it's actually the best thing. The scent, it says it's unscented, but it has a bit of a... Let me see what's in it and then I think I can tell you. Beeswax. <laughs> yeah, it has a slight scent of beeswax, but if you don't mind that, then it's the perfect lip balm for you. <laughs> it was only three pounds. It's actually so good. It can last you for so long. And yeah. And it has one of these twisty bottoms. You know those, these type of ones that you just twist like that. It's the best lip repair thingy that I've ever bought. And I would know because my lips get dry. <laughs> and I'm not even ashamed to admit it. Yeah, my lips get dry in the winter. So this is definitely something to have on hand with lip gloss as well. And yeah. Honestly, this is the perfect thing ever. This 
get it <laughs> the next product on my top five winter skincare products is the alpha arbutin 2 percent plus ha serum i don't really use this serum as much anymore but you can tell that i've used it up a lot it basically is just a serum that targets hyperpigmentation and dark spots and it says that you should apply a few drops in the am and pm as part of your skincare regimen and that's what i had been doing and yeah it did work for me these kind of products i used along with sunscreen but that's not part of my winter favorites just because you should actually be using sunscreen all the time which is something that i didn't know which is why i had the dark spots in the first place so i had to find out what works for me and what didn't so i've thrown away a lot of the ordinary products and a lot of revolution skincare and a lot of all of those high-end skincare products that you see that say work for some people but they didn't work for me and i finally found something from the ordinary that did i don't use this as much anymore but it is a really good product that i would recommend getting if you want to target your dark spots and your hyperpigmentation i feel like i'm gonna have to go back to this anyway because as you can see i have some dark spots from little pimples but yeah it is my favorite product and the price is seven pounds i feel like the ordinary line in itself is pretty cheap so i don't think that's expensive for a product that works you know i just think that's an all right price so seven pounds for this and yes i can actually say that it does target your dark spots and hyperpigmentation otherwise i wouldn't have used it up to this level now we are finally getting into the last two products that i use on a daily basis regardless of whether it's summer regardless of whether it's winter fall rain snow heat wave <laughs> i'm using these products the fourth product here that i'm going to be showing you which is part of my top five winter skincare favorites i wasn't gonna do a skincare video without putting this in it this I could actually do a whole video about why this is so good for you. This cream, right, is so thick, so it will stay on your skin, keep your skin moisturized for such a long time. And it's actually my favorite. I, oh, it was even in my last video. I use it all the time, everywhere. I don't know what you want me to say. I use it literally anything to do with skincare or makeup you will see this product because it's just amazing and yeah it keeps my skin moisturized especially because it's winter i'm doing my winter favorites so if you have dry skin during winter and to be honest most people's skin gets dry during winter i promise you this is the best thing i was watching a video and at that time i was using the um another <laughs> and i was using that at the time while i was watching the video and then the girl was talking about nivea i was like nivea like why <laughs> because at that time i thought you had to get every single skincare product under the sun that had a brand name just to make your skin look good make your skin look better but no she said nivea works well for her and i was like you know what let me go back to basics because when i was younger i wasn't using all of these products i didn't know they existed did they even exist at the time who knows probably not but i was using nivea so i decided to go back quick shop at sainsbury's get myself a tub which cost me like two pound fifty and i was like yeah let me try it i tried it my skin loved it because everything else was giving me those tiny little dots. But this said, no. This said, I'm not coming to play. I'm going to work. That's what it did. And yeah, this I would recommend wholeheartedly get it. If you're stuck in your skincare regime, skincare routine, and you're just thinking like, none of this is working for me, go back to basics. Go back to what you used to do for your skin. If it was nothing, try that for a week and see. But... All I'm saying, this product is for you. And if it's not for you, it's for me. Because this is the best thing ever. 
the last product that I do not see many people talking about actually, but it is the organic aloe vera gel with tea tree oil. This and Nivea, like, oh my god, like they're so good. Like, I'm actually a skincare fanatic, so this, whoa. It's produced from pure aloe vera inner gel, capturing the maximum nutritional activity of the aloe vera plant. Soothing gel moisturizes, softens, and helps restore dry and damaged skin. Isn't that something that you need for the winter? Just, oh, it says it can be applied to stretch marks, scars, dry, chapped skin, sunburn, skin irritations, and minor burns. Now, let me tell you, this is so amazing because every time I try something new, I used to try face masks, I tried so many different types of cleansers, I tried so many different types of those serum things and every time I would try them, I would make sure to apply this afterwards because I was not trying to get any type of burn, I was not trying to get any type of rash allergic reaction so i was like if i'm gonna try a new skincare product let me just safely apply some aloe vera gel with the antiseptic tea tree oil just in case something wants to happen this has saved me from so many issues with other skincare products this is why i love this product so much and i don't even know how much it was let me check the price quickly it was only $5.99 from Holland and Barrett. That's why I go to get my natural skincare stuff. So things like aloe vera gel, catch me in Holland and Barrett. Or Sainsbury sometimes has stuff like that. And sometimes they do a buy one, get one free. So you can get this and then you can get just the normal aloe vera gel. And they even have aloe vera lotion. And I honestly don't know how my skin would look without this. And that's all I have to say about it. Great products and purchase it if you can. Link below. <laughs> so that is the end of my top five winter skincare favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video and what more can I say about it? It was a very fun video to film just because I wanted to share some skincare products and some skincare favorites with you, especially during this winter period because I know a lot of people's skin can get can get dry and chapped some people go through different things with their skin during this time and some people feel more confident in their skin and some people feel less confident in their skin because of the changes that their skin goes through so I just wanted to share some things that can help you regardless of what skin type you have my MVPs my favorite products in this video would have to be the lip balm that I told you about the Nivea and the aloe vera those three are my favorite because they are the ones that I use all the time regardless of what season it is and regardless of what type of weather we are having along with and cream. Recently I haven't been doing much with my skin which is why I decided to show you a top five winter favorites because I use less than five products. <laughs> Literally I only use the three that I showed you along with the skin wash when I feel like it. Like I mentioned previously my skin unusually is thriving with the bare minimum and i feel like it's because like i mentioned before all of those other skincare products and everything that i used to use it just wasn't needed it wasn't necessary if i didn't use them before what made me think oh i need to change this about myself i need to use these products just because oh maybe it will help with this kind of problem with my skin or maybe that will help with this kind of problem with my skin when I didn't even have the problems in the first place I was just looking at something to pick at but now I'm comfortable in my skin the old Toby would have not recorded a video without makeup and put it up that would have just not been a thing <laughs> but I don't know maybe it comes with age I guess but <laughs> so I do the bare minimum now snack on my cream my aloe vera gel and my balm and i'm ready to go yeah and these are my favorite types of videos to film when i'm not wearing makeup because i do the bare minimum and yeah i love it if you're gonna take away three points from this video number one find skincare that works for you check the back of the products because maybe your skin is suffering 
or maybe you're going through some changes because of the ingredients in the skincare. Some of the ingredients are harmful, but skincare companies will not tell you about that because they like you to see the benefits of what it does to your skin instead of the harmful things that it could do to your skin. So yeah. Another thing is just because it's tested by dermatologists does not mean it will be good for your skin. I've gone through so many products that have said that and yeah great all that means is that it's safe to put out doesn't mean it's good for you that's just like just because it's safe to put out doesn't mean that it's the product for you so don't even bother with it until you check the ingredients or until you do your research and you find someone with the same skin type as you that has tried that same product and maybe it has worked for them then you can decide whether or not you should use this product whether or not it's the product for you. The final thing that I would say is trust your skin and know when to stop with some skincare products. I didn't do that. Sometimes I was like, hmm, maybe this skincare product is not working because my skin needs some time to get used to it. My skin needs some time to get used to this, this tingling sensation. No. <laughs> If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Just get rid of that product, it's fine. Find something else. There's something out there for you. Find it. It's not by force to be using products that don't work. It's okay. If you wasted your money, it's fine. Just move on and find something else. I feel like that's a message that I needed to tell myself because I clearly didn't listen to myself sometimes, but now I'm comfortable using the bare minimum and the products that I do have because they are the products that work for me. I've gone back to my childhood days, my childhood ways, using a simple cream, lip balm and some aloe vera gel. That's the only new thing that I didn't use but it's the best thing for me because why I did my research and why it's amazing. That's all I have to say about this video and all I have to say about skincare. I could literally go on doing a 30 to 40 minute video about skincare and about why certain skincare brands are not great and should be taken off the shelves. But I'm not going to do that because this was just about my top five winter skincare products, which I hope you go out and try, please, because... I really feel like some of these could save your skin. But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what other videos I should do or what other skincare products you have that are really good for you because honestly, I just feel like at this point I like to try different things. I, yeah, I do. <laughs> and yes, share, subscribe and wishing you peace, love and light and everything more. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Put my air pen. Mother, you cough. It's all right. Whoa. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to, no, no, what did I do? I don't know. Oh, this is an issue. Oh gosh. <clears throat> hey, no, that's so fake. <laughs> oh my gosh, anyways.